Hi everybody, it's Colors with Kathy, and today's color is yellow. I'm sitting under my color therapy lamp with yellow in it, but if you don't have access to a color therapy lamp, you can get color therapy glasses. I find that yellow sunglasses work as well, and if you want these, just let me know. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to know the rest of the colors in the series. I love working with the color yellow because it's youthful, it's bright, it's happy, it's sunshiny. It helps with detoxifying the skin as well as the intestinal uh, part. And it helps get rid of thoughts that you don't want roaming around in your head anymore too. One of the cautions about yellow, however, is we don't use it for conditions of the head. So um, we don't use it for seizure disorders, um, epilepsy, uh, that kind of thing. We also don't use it in cases of headaches because it's a in pretty intense color to bring to the head. I would shine it further down and uh, or find out the root cause of the headache because then often the color will be different depending upon the root cause, but never yellow. You can purify your digestive system with yellow. Um, if you wrap a yellow piece of cloth or a towel or something around your tummy when you have a tummy ache and just put your hands on there and feel the warmth of the sun, you, you will detox pretty quickly and the spasms will be alleviated. Yellow helps us remember things and that's something we need to um, remember. <laughs> so yellow helps us be quicker and more clear in our spoken word as well. The sense of yellow at the solar plexus is sight, and the solar plexus has often been called the true seat of intuition. True seat of intuition. So it's a different kind of knowing than the third eye or the crown chakra. I'm not getting into the chakras too much because this is about color and color therapy. And a lot of people think that color therapy is the same as chakra therapy, but it's not. You can be over or underactive in a color, and you can be over or underactive in a chakra energy. So you often have to look at the complementary colors. The complement, and I'm, it's not opposite, it's complementary color to yellow, is violet. And when we get to the end and we talk about violet, you'll see why. It's a color that we use mostly for releasing toxins and helping the belly. And I'm not going to go into uh, too much today. I want to make it short and sweet. The um, yellow card from the color, lang the secret language of color deck from Ina. I also have grapefruit. And this is from the Aromatherapy Insight cards by Jennifer Jeffries, who I just think is fabulous. Um, she came from Australia and did a course on the cards and she's in Toronto right now. So lucky you Torontonians taking her class. And, uh, this is her lemon card. The, um, artist is Karen Osborne, whose work I think you might know. So let's talk about yellow and lemon and grapefruit. Rationality, lemon. Release emotional, irrational outbursts in your life. How can you do that? Breathe it in. When feeling out of your depth and irrational, lemon clears your head and enables you to focus on the task at hand. Rescue your mind and release self-doubt. Don't get bogged down in life. Cool the environment so that you can respond in a rational manner and achieve a positive result. I like that. Its note as an essential oil is a top note, meaning you will smell it first. It is a bacterial. It abates infections of all descriptions and detoxifies. It helps reduce oily skin. It's also mentally stimulating. So we keep saying that over and over, don't we? Detoxify, detoxify. And I'm just going to mention something here because... Um, it's really starting to upset me that the general public is being told out there to put essential oils in their water and just drink them. And the number one uh, essential oil they recommend is lemon in your glass of water. Please don't do that. 
and I'm going out on a limb, as I said, please don't do it. It's oil and it does not mix with water, it floats on top. And um, one drop of essential oil of lemon, you're looking at over 20 lemons, why would you do that? It will turn up in your liver, it will, as uh, a negative, it will harm the mucous membranes of your throat and your mouth, your tongue, eventually. And I know there are people out there that say, oh, well, I do that every day and I'm fine. Well, today you're fine. Um, but there's a lot of documented cases of people who have not been fine by drinking their essential oils in water. Why would you not buy a lemon, however much it costs, 77 cents, um, cut it up, put a couple of slices in your glass of water or in a pitcher of water, and you've got a beautiful liquid that you can drink all day long, receiving the detoxifying benefits. Um, eat yellow foods. Lots of vitamin A, B, and C in yellow foods. So I'm going to finish with grapefruit. Grapefruit is optimism. And more than anything, yellow is positive, positive, positive. And renew your zest for life. Stop feeling disappointed and wrung out. In other words, in my words, stop feeling sorry for yourself. Focus on life's positives, looking after yourself better and nurturing yourself emotionally. Grapefruit removes heavy, negative emotions that can feed our addictions when expectations are not met. It's an emotional purifier. So mentally, physically, and emotionally, yellow can help release anything not serving your highest good at this time. And I just want to give Jennifer another blurb, Aromatherapy Insight Cards, Jennifer Jeffries. So if you want more information on that, please um, drop me a line and I'll send you to her website so that you can order the cards. They're beautiful to work with, especially if you do work with other people. But I find that a lot of these things are good for ourselves. Let's just end with a little color shower, shall we? The color yellow. So just close your eyes, take a nice deep breath. Imagine standing in the sunshine and the beautiful yellow light of the spectrum comes down through the top of your head and as it flows out the bottom of your feet, it washes away anything not serving your highest good at this time. It could be a limiting decision or belief it could be something you ate last night that's not agreeing with you. It could be a feeling you have. It could be a criticism or a judgment that you have towards something or someone. Let it go. That's Yellow's message. Just let it go. I'll see you tomorrow with the color green. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe.